All right, definitely just trespassed. Well, it doesn't say no trespassing. It just says road closed. Jason and I are going for a gravel ride. Um, we actually did a ride last week also. It was our first ride um, of 2023. Unfortunately, the camera uh, stopped working and we didn't properly charge the batteries or anything. So we, didn't, we barely got any footage from that. However, hopefully today we'll be prepared. We're starting out at Kent and we're going to be riding into Sharon and Amenia. And uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of VO2 max um, efforts, VO2 max intervals. It's a four by three minuteers. And I was going to do uh, the tempo workout today, but I wound up actually swapping that over. Um, yesterday I did the tempo, the two by 30 minute tempo. And so today I'll be doing a four by five minutes at VO2 max. So can you tell everybody what your goal is for today? Um, well, I'm not really sure because um, this is like my base phase and I'm doing mostly zone two. And today with the route we're doing has a lot of climbing um, and will probably be hilly. So I know it's, it's not gonna be possible for me to do a pure zone two ride. So I'm gonna mix some intensity into the ride today, but I haven't really decided what I wanna do with that yet. I'm gonna just kind of make it a free ride and get out there and see how how the legs feel and how I'm feeling. I do some threshold on some of the longer climbs and then um, possibly throw in a VO2 effort or, or two. So I'm debating on whether to wear thermal jersey or a long sleeve spring jersey it's pretty chilly outside and don't want the thing with outdoor riding is <laughs> especially when it's spring you it's like a a game on what you're gonna wear because you don't want to be end up too warm and then you're shedding all these layers uh like shortly after you start riding and you also don't want to be shivering for the entire time. And I've had two scenarios play out in the past. Uh, it is pretty sunny out, but it's about 40s. And when we get to riding, and it's going to be pretty windy also. And when we're riding, it gets, you know, cold. And so I'm debating on wearing this thermal jersey, which is a little thicker, uh, or my thinner... Um, I currently have this Pactimo long sleeve jersey and it's thinner, but I have a base layer underneath. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the thicker jersey just because I'm just going to go for comfort. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this ride because it looks beautiful outside. The sun is out and excited about it. I'm good. This is our second outdoor ride of the year. Much of my base season was spent slogging away on the indoor trainer, so it's fair to say this was a nice street because the sun was out, which made for comfortable conditions despite being bundled up. We also got bike fits on our gravel bikes. I was experiencing lower back pain riding longer than two hours, and my bike fitter and I concluded that a shorter crank length, stem height, and saddle adjustment may fix the problem. Needless to say, we were eager to test out our new fit. Yeah, I'm glad I brought my, uh, I've, <laughs> I've changed over to the thermal jersey. Oh, I should have, I forgot to wear, I forgot to put on the ass savers.
Are you wearing your steel skin gloves? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of clunky or chunky. So I'm uh, playing around with using a hydration bladder on putting it in a frame bag because I can't fit three water bottles on my small frame. And when we do these gravel rides, it's hard to find a place to refuel. So I'm experimenting on my setup here, which is, uh, we'll see how it goes today. I got the tube snaked through and I cut a hole on my frame bag so that I can uh, snake that tube through and then just keeping it secure in the uh, top tube bag there. So far we haven't gone through some gone through some uh, rough patches on this road so so far it's uh stayed put but we'll see later uh when we're descending morning guys so we're just getting warmed up on our ride here and it's a little cold but nice and sunny uh it's supposed to be pretty nice today so Hopefully it continues to warm up and doesn't get too windy, although the wind will probably help dry out the gravel roads. Yeah, the, uh, the bike fit is feeling pretty good so far. So we'll see how it goes the rest of the ride. I think when you start your first effort in Macedonia Park, I think I'm going to do a threshold effort. Okay. So I'll probably lag behind you at first and then I'll, I'll probably end up passing you like when, you know, when you start recovering. Okay. Just let me know when you're gonna start it. Okay. I am now at the build phase of my training plan and slowly ramping up the intensity of my workouts. Today's workout is four by three minutes at zone five or 225 watts. We're riding into Macedonia State Park, which is mostly gravel with a slight incline. It's a perfect uninterrupted road to do intervals in, which I learned is a plus for doing outdoor workouts. Oh, and I also forgot to record my first set. Did my first effort. Sorry guys. Forgot to record. Average power, 230. Hopefully. Still feel pretty good. I think I'm going to do a 10 minute effort this time. Six, about six, six minutes left.
know if I was gonna go to the bathroom, but looks like there's no porta potty, or I thought there was going to be. So I'm just gonna keep going and do my next effort this time. Okay, I should be recording it. I'm getting warm now. Jason decided to do threshold power for this entire climb, so he went ahead of me. His target was 230 watts with a current FTP of 220 watts. You might be wondering why his FTP is that way. Well, here's Jason explaining his fitness journey. So what happened last year, um, had a series of illnesses starting in September. In September last year, we both got COVID and Joy recovered nicely from it. Um, I had some long-term effects from it, cardiorespiratory symptoms, and had to take some time off or not. I didn't have to take that much time completely, completely off. I think I took a few weeks completely off, um, but then had to really ease back into it, just doing like easy spin rides inside. And then I finally started feeling a little bit better close to uh, Christmas time and then we both got the flu and then the for me the, the flu turned into pneumonia so I dealt with that for well over a month and uh, so I really just started training again about a month ago I would say or a month and a half ago beginning of February I think I started getting back into sort of a structured training schedule well that one went pretty well uh i said i was going to do a 10 minute uh threshold effort i ended up doing 23 minutes uh because i was riding on uh, the dirt road in macedonia park there and uh i figured uh well i'll just hold threshold let's see if i can hold threshold till the end of the dirt section uh So, I successfully did. So, yeah, I guess I'm feeling pretty good today. I think uh, Joy stopped to use the restroom and she was going to do another VO2 effort, I think, going through the park. Uh, so I'm going to regroup with her soon. Clear. Okay, all right, third interval, here we go. Ooh, a little muddy. Thank you. 
Did you do the O2 also or? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going hard until I get to the top. On my last set, I decided to start it after coming down a fast ascent that quickly pitched upwards. However, I didn't realize that making a left turn would have significant drop in power, which affected my overall average for the set. All right. Starting. Uh, at the top here, it's a left turn. Clear. <clears throat> Power up. Oh. Didn't do as well. This last round, I lost some power making that left turn. You know what I should have done? I should have just done it on this hill. Yeah, I wasn't sure how much longer this hill was going to be. That's why. I did 221. Uh, Uh, no, I don't think so. Upper end of threshold. Well, I didn't get this in recording, but I went on a someone's driveway and it looked like a pretty substantial driveway 
but now I lost Jason. So let's wait for him. You guys can enjoy the scenic route. Is it here? So windy. After completing the workout, it was zone two from there on. However, the rolling terrain made it challenging to stay within my zone two range. Well, we are in mile, uh, 26 miles into the ride. This is a total of, supposed to be a total of 48 miles. So yeah, still feeling good. And I'm so glad that it's really sunny out here. You could see uh, some puffy clouds up above and, uh, you know, bright sunny day. And it feels really good to just get that, um, have a nice cooling effect with the wind but at the same time the warmth from the sun so uh the next part of this ride we're going to be heading down back down to the to macedonia state park and it's a such a fun descent um we had to climb up it we had to climb up here uh on westwoods one which got through it and yeah now we're uh uh we're heading down over to new york in amenia and uh we're gonna check out the gravel road there. Um, I think it's called Berkshire Road, and which connects to part of Kent, and then we're gonna head back to Scattercook where we parked.
had such a great ride. Uh, kind of had a rough, well, I don't want to say a rough moment, but oh, it's so windy out here. Um, there was a point where we were riding down Macedonia State Park and riding into um, Amenia, New York, and into Dover, and it was so windy. There was this huge, you can probably hear from the audio, this gust of wind that um, was blowing us around and um, was really hard to pedal through. But I think it's important to, uh, you know, expose ourselves to headwind because never know what that's going to be like out on the actual um, actual event. Anyway, we rode into Dover and there was supposed to be this dirt road, which we did ride into, except there were signs that said it was the road was closed, um, a seasonal thing. And no, there's no real reason uh, except it said seasonal, but we looked it over and it looked like it was a pretty rideable section. And so we hopped the fence and uh, decided to keep riding on. And uh, luckily it was only a short section of that road until we had to hop another fence. Yeah, that was a really fun ride. Uh, I was feeling really good in the beginning of it uh, when we were doing those efforts. And I probably went a little too hard on those and I, I paid, started to pay for it a little later in the ride, about three hours or so into the ride, I, or two and a half, three hours into the ride. Uh, legs started feeling pretty tired, um, but managed to push through that tough stretch and then the legs came back to life in the last half hour or so of the ride, um, probably just because I knew we were going to be done soon. Um, but it turned out to be a really nice day in terms of weather and the route was, was, was nice too. Um, we went through, when we went through New, uh, New York, this town called Dover um, that was a little uh, sketchy for me uh, but Joy probably uh, probably expanded on that already but we probably won't go through there again uh, but aside from that it was it was a really uh, fun route fun day down here okay my setup with the rock bros uh, frame bag and the hydration bladder in it and snaking the the tube the valve uh cutting a little piece of the material and so that i can uh sneak the the valve or the tube through it it actually worked out um and i actually prefer it this way i think i mentioned it on the while we were riding that um, my, because of my small frame i can't fit three bottles and riding in gravel sometimes it's really hard to to find places to stop to refuel so I thought, oh, with the frame bag and putting the hydration bladder in there would work out because I was able to fit three bottles and I can also add an additional bottle uh, on the seat or on the down tube. So that would be four bottles if I need to in the future, but I didn't really need four bottles today. Three was enough. And as I was drinking, it would lessen the weight and expanded for, uh, made some more room for um, other stuff like Jason had to take off his balaclava and um, like garbage or things that we just accumulate throughout the ride and I don't want to just throw out um, in the woods but um, yeah so it made some extra room for for that and uh, so yeah it, it worked out perfectly. If you enjoyed watching this video be sure to subscribe. As always don't forget to enjoy the ride.